Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to Spill the Beans Podcast. I'm here with my beautiful husband and... Guys, guess who? Our baby boy. He's not a rug. He's not a teddy bear. He's a real dog. He's a real dog. So he's joining us today because he is part of our life now. And our life revolves around him. We're trying to make him be the cameraman, but he doesn't like that job because he doesn't get paid. Yeah. There's not enough treats in the world to pay him with that. Yeah. So So maybe he wants to be our audio engineer or maybe our editor. he'll replace Julissa one day. Anyways, guys. So welcome back to another video. Uh, we're probably going to do these every Friday morning. Just yeah. so you can end your week good on a good note. You know, you're on your way to work. You're going to... The weekend's about to start. What other better way to start the weekend than to listen to us talk about a, a little bit about life. <laughs> yeah, so let's get right into it. Today's cities... In honor of Ozo, the main, the one first city we're going to use uh, do the weather for is going to be Kansas City... Misery. Misery. <laughs> misery. <laughs> it is quite miserable there. <laughs> Just kidding. Okay. Um, how, how did you like Missouri and or Kansas? Well, first of all, we drove through Kansas to get through Missouri to Missouri. Um, Kansas was kind of a little bit confusing. We were very confused. Almost got us a ticket. Remember from the oh, just the streets, but from the casetas. I mean the la casetas. You guys have toll like casetas. I thought that was only in Mexico. It's because we have optional tolls. You guys have mandatory tolls. Yeah. <laughs> Which was, was so crazy for us. And we almost got a ticket for it. But everything's fine now. Um, and then Missouri. Well, we were only there for like an hour. And I just the place that we went to was not Kansas City. It was... I forgot the name. but Falcon. Yeah. No, it was Lebanon. Leban Lebanon. 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 No. <laughs> he loves chords right now. Uh, but... Lebanon was crazy. It was, I mean, it wasn't crazy. It was boring and it looked sad. And I think the weather made it more sad vibes. And yeah, like, guys, it was like really foggy and cloudy, like Walking Dead vibes. And cold. It was freezing. But yeah, I mean, we were we weren't there enough to judge it. So Missouri was like physically, it was very beautiful, yeah. like the hills and the, the rivers and whatnot. But just the the vibes, the vibes were not it. Mm. They did not pass the vibe check. I'm sorry, Missouri. We did not Better see a luck Hispanic person. Time. Period. Yeah, ni un paletero. <laughs> not even in Kansas City. Anyways, so speaking of. Kansas City is roughly close to Denver. Oh, we'll have to start with Denver. Denver's Denver. always a must. All right, guys. So starting off with Denver, Colorado. You know, Denver is always a must That just because we live here. So not too shabby. We're going to start off with a highs of 53 degrees. Um, for us, for us Coloradians. Is that how you say it? Coloradians? Uh, it is not too cold. It, this is the perfect weather. It's like... Antes, un poquito antes que empiece a calar el sol, and, uh, but just hot enough where you don't have to take a sweat or anything like that. Uh, a little bit of winds between 5 and 10 miles per hour, and we're going to end Friday night with 29 degrees. Perfect for la cobija del tigre. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. Para mi bonita gente de Kansas City, Missouri, not Kansas... Answer me this, guys. Is Kansas City city literally divided in half between Kansas and Missouri? I've heard it is. We don't know, though. But when you type it in, it says Kansas City, Missouri. So you guys are going to have an absolute beautiful day. 68 degrees, 50% chance of rain. But honestly, with 68 degrees, it could be snowing and I wouldn't care. Uh, your sunset is at 752. <laughs> I don't know what that matters but just in case you go out there and for a jog and you're gonna end the night with 54 degrees folks what better way to end your day <laughs> okay and our last city which was requested very much so by two wonderful people <laughs> how many likes did i have though uh i don't know Last city, guys, is our beautiful city from the great state of Georgia. You guys are going to have a beautiful day. 62 degrees. That is partial cloudiness early on in the day with scattered showers. I'm just reading off of what it <laughs> says. <laughs> Thunderstorms overnight. But guess what? You're going to end the day with 
47 degrees. It gets a little chilly, but you know what? Only 60% chance of rain. Um, that's quite a bit, but damn, you guys are humid, humid, 90% humidity. Jeez. And you guys do have a little bit of wind out there for my folks in Georgia. <laughs> How's the food out there in Georgia? Is it good? Anyways, yeah, comment down below what city you guys want me to do next. Uh, two cities. I'll probably do two cities and then include Denver in there. Um, if you want me to do your city, just say your city and then your favorite thing about your state. <laughs> like, I'm from Colorado and I love to fill in the blank. Eat wings. <laughs> Great. Thank you. This is why you're the co-host, babe. <laughs> just kidding um, but yeah that was the weather guys I know you guys have requested a green screen and although I do not have the capabilities to function a green screen but <laughs> um, this is like a podcast guys so um, I feel like if I add a green screen and all these effects um, it would turn into just another you know J&J video so we're gonna try to keep it minimal you know more to just our voices but if you guys want to see a green screen you guys want to see me with a suit and tie then go ahead and let me know i'll do it love that all right babe let's get right into it let's get right into it so as you guys already know we have a new puppy his name's ozo how did it all start babe Okay, I guess here we will go in depth because we have all the time in the world. It all started Friday night. I forgot what day of April was, but it was Friday night. Jonathan got home from work pretty late and he was already in bed winding down and I was in the living room. And I always go on this website called Puppy Spot. That's the initial website we've always been looking for dogs on. And if you guys have been on that website, you might know that the dogs do not go under three thousand dollars and every single dog is at price and jonathan and i thought that it wouldn't be reasonable to spend that much money on a puppy even though it was our dream dog and we love dogs but um, hold up what hold up we gotta backtrack a little guys <laughs> because ozo although he is very cute and i love him and i would actually take a scooter to the shin um he is not my dream dog he was not at first so let me tell them the quick story. Okay. Guys, my dream dog, well, obviously, my dream dog is a German Shepherd. Well, not dream dog because I've had one before. But um, I've always, always, I really wanted a pit bull. As you hit my Instagram, if you don't know what I'm talking about, then go follow me on Instagram. Um, I've always wanted a pit bull, especially because we do live in an apartment. So they, they would be more low maintenance in the sense of shedding. They shed very little uh, because their hair is so short. And... Um, so I had already found the guy, beautiful dad. The dad was beautiful. He had blue eyes. He was a you know a full, purebred pit bull. He was super muscular, super beautiful. And the the dad had an excellent temper because I do have a lot of little brothers. And then the puppy that I we picked out, like we had already picked him out, guys. Um, we we almost gave the guy the money, but Jalissa wanted to think about it for a day, or we were gonna pick him up the next day. He was like a beautiful sand color with blue eyes, like my dream pit bull dog. And uh, so the next day, like, I told her to go to the bank, you know, withdraw the money. And uh, she's like, no, like, she's having cold feet, guys. And I get mad. Like, this caused us to fight for how long? Like, four days? We weren't talking? Like a week. Okay, let's backtrack a little bit. First of all, we had just moved into the apartment we had barely spent one night at the apartment we were getting our furniture for the apartment and jonathan was like let's go get him right now we were we went to brunch and then i told him i was like oh the girl said that she can either meet at 1 30 or till tomorrow he's like let's go right now literally made me swallow my brunch and we went to look at the dog and i'm not gonna lie to you i've had a pit bull before and i love pit bulls and i we will have one in the future but I was like, dude, I moved out, I moved out and I want a dog like my dream dog, you know? Like, yeah, so she's basically being very selfish. Like she wants her way or the highway. Basically, my point of view is I'm going to be with the dog majority of the day. Yeah. I'm that's going true. to be with the dog all day. Jonathan will get home at seven and cuddle with him. But I'm gonna be the one paranoid running around, making sure he doesn't pee or poop. And I knew that 
like when I saw Ozo guys, I fell in love instantly. I hugged him, I grabbed him, and I'm not big on like dogs and how they smell and stuff because they smell pretty bad. But I was like all about him. And when I saw the pitbull, unfortunately, I did not feel like that at all. And I think it has to do with the fact that it was our second day at the apartment. We didn't have anything set up. We were not settled in. Nothing, nothing. And Jonathan already wanted to get a dog. And at this point, you were working with Robin, right? Yeah, I was at another place, guys, so you I would... You would get late, home late. Yeah, late, super late, and I would leave the house super early. But the whole reason we moved out of her parents' house, guys, was because I wanted a dog. Like, I love dogs so much. I love all animals. That's why we also have a reptile, if you guys didn't know. So I told her, I was like, I, like, the only reason... It sounds so childish, but I only want to move out so I can have my own dog already. And so she, like, baited me. She's like, yeah, as soon as we move out, we'll get the dog. I was like, babe, you want a pit bull? I don't want to make, like, we can compromise on the breed. She's like, yeah, pit bull's fine. So I find the pit bull, and I find the most perfect one, and she gets cold feet. It was just too soon. I, I knew it wasn't the right time yeah. to get a dog. It was not. Yeah, it was literally and, two days after we moved Yeah, in. and it still, it took us how long? What? November, December, January, February, March, April. Five months in to get a dog. And that's like, I'm already comfortable with the place. And especially right now, I have all the time in the world. I used to have to like take my mom and the girls to school. And like, I would be out of the house basically like all day. Yeah. And right now, I'm not. We're social distancing and all of that. So I'm staying home. This is just the perfect time. Jonathan has a new a new job. He gets home the latest 6 p.m., which is okay. He takes him out in the morning. Like, we are settling into a good schedule, but it's just the fact that I instantly clicked with this puppy, and he has been my dream dog forever, and I found him, and I don't know. And it wasn't like I found him, and I was like, babe, let's go right now. Like, you have to get in the car and take me, or we are going to get a divorce. No, like, as I, soon, I was the one that said that. Yeah, as soon as Jonathan saw the puppy, he was like, let's go. I don't care. Put Reserve him. Put the money down. Like, we're going. And we picked up and left on Friday night. So... I, I guess, yeah, maybe you can call me very selfish, but... The Guys, at that point, I just wanted a dog. Like, I didn't care what breed. And um, so I was like, whatever she wants. So we had to compromise a little bit. She at first wanted a golden doodle, but like a mini or a medium. A toy. A toy, like a really small one. And guys, I cannot do small dogs. Um, I love, like I said, I love all dogs. But like for me personally, I like, you know, larger breeds. I was like, let's get a standard, babe. Like it looks like a little one, but they'll grow up and they'll still be, you know, high, hyperallergenic. That's a big word. Hypoallergenic. Yeah. And I was like, oh, she's like, okay, we'll get the bigger one of the, the, the biggest one that grows up to be the biggest. And uh, yeah, that's how we compromised. And uh, she found this little guy Friday night. And I didn't even think like, yeah, I was tired from work and it was a 12 hour like drive. But I was like, let's go. Let's go. Like, I just wanted a dog so bad, guys. And she wanted her dream dog. So I was like, let's go. He rushed me. Like, I had I showered and got ready in under 30 minutes. Because he was like, let's go. Let's go. You're taking forever. Guys, because the day before that, we had <laughs> called, like, and texted, like, at least five different breeders. And no one had a dog, like, available. So I was like, oh. And then we saw this one that it was still available. It was much, he was much cheaper, surprisingly, than all the others, the, the other dogs on Puppy Spot. So then I was like, nope, that's a sign. We got to go. Yeah, so we made, it was like um, a very spontaneous decision. Yeah. But I could call it one of the best decisions ever because I am obsessed with him. Even though, like, I feel like we don't, we still don't know exactly what we got ourselves into. But. Yeah, we do. We've both had dogs before. Yeah, it's going to be a crazy ride for sure. It's just crazy how he's going to be with us to like, if he lives up to like what they, he better live like up 14, to 14 years. years. Um, He'll be with us till we're 35. That's crazy. Till we have our first child. Pretty but, moment to do. Yeah, guys, that's literally what happened. We went to Missouri, did not sleep at all. Like did, we didn't rest in a hotel, nothing. Like we went there, came back made sure that we were here all sunday night all sunday so that jonathan could you know cuddle with him and yeah, yeah. we were so tired though so guys in the farthest tired. we've drove like together because mm -hmm. i i've driven to mexico with my parents and whatnot but like together um has been utah and utah was only eight hours away so i was like frick and like by the time i get to utah when i drive with her family i'm super like done i'm tired so i was like 
there's still three hours and a half on top of these, you know, off top of Utah. I was like, I'm not going to. So I was just trying not to think about it. But surprisingly, it was a good trip. It was just all straight. Yeah, it was pretty good. And I did help him drive for like three hours out of the time. So it wasn't bad. And it's just like Jonathan cannot stay up. Like, I can find my sleep and I can be good driving. But Jonathan cannot. He God, literally, <laughs> he will fall asleep on the wheel and kill us all. But, yeah, it was amazing. He was amazing on the way back. He literally slept the entire 12 hours. Well, except for when we would get off to get gas, he would get off and pee. And then we would go back on the road and he would fall asleep. Guys, he's great. I mean, he's only, like, he, yeah, he's had his accidents. But who doesn't? You know, I still shit the bed sometimes. But <laughs> and uh, but anyways, I'm cut that out. Um, <laughs> anyways, that uh, yeah, like, he pees and poops outside already normally like it looks like he was already potty trained but yeah. we doubt it. he's so little and he's we're, super smart already sits yeah we're getting used to his body language so we're like we look at him and he, he starts to caminar así como si tuviera un calzoncillo y estuviera rosado yeah he spreads his legs like a penguin and then we know he wants to poop <laughs> so then we take him yeah so we're trying to read his body language to know exactly when he has to poop because obviously he's not gonna tell us um he's been eating and drinking well and he sleeps through the entire night when jonathan wakes up for work he he's like he wakes up atento and stuff but when jonathan leaves i put him on the couch with me and we fall asleep for another hour yeah. but after 7 30 it's go time Okay, guys, so obviously, um, all the comments on our video were super positive on Instagram. You guys are the best. Obviously, we knew you were going to love him just as much as we love him. But there are those people that, you know, unfortunately, you know, it comes down to adopt, don't shop. And uh, so we're going to address that because I think it's something that we should talk about just for other people that plan on, you know, do getting a dog from a breeder. So the way me and Julissa see it is uh, we don't support breeders in the sense of like, I think it's messed up when a person puts a deposit or reserves a puppy that's not even born. Like, you're, 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 fit. yeah, you're paying and you're supporting that breeder, right? But Ozo, like, he, we found him and obviously he was already born. Like, he's already there. You know what I mean? So, like, he, I feel like he, he's a puppy. He doesn't know anything, just like babies. Um, so they deserve the same amount of love as a puppy in a shelter, unfortunately. And, uh, so yeah. And then, and regardless, like, it's, it was sad, too, because he was already, well, he's he was 11 weeks when we picked him up, and puppies go at eight weeks. Like, at eight weeks, they're yeah. sold, and they're gone, and they're gone for good, and I saw him, and I was like, he's 11 weeks, like, what are the, prob what's the probability that he will be sold, um, which is probably one of the reasons why they were cheaper, too, because they were already older, um, but yeah, as soon as I saw him, I was like, I don't care, like, you're right, there are puppies and shelters that need love too but like it literally at this point every puppy needs love you know yeah and then like at the same time guys like it's not it's okay to buy a dog from a breeder because like when you think about a breeder you think of like the like people treating the, like the female dog like breed 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 she doesn't breathe she, she gets pregnant after litter but like i know friends that breed dogs guys and they treat their female dogs like, like a queen like better than their own kids like i am not joking guys again so casita they are treated like royalty because they love them they're, they're like their family and um so i feel like it's not it's not selfish of us to you know to get a dog from a breeder if they're if they're doing it all like through registry they're doing it all right I, why is this whole hate against adopt own shop like why like why can't i pick a dog of my choice you know what i mean yeah. um golden doodles we we didn't just because he's cute and because he's a golden doodle he's hyper allergenic that's something we didn't want to deal with shed mm -hmm. like hair and second of all temperament we both have very little siblings so we wanted a dog that has you know the best temperament and is easy to train which is obviously a golden retriever slash poodle and uh when you get a dog from the shelter obviously you don't and i know like here come all the people like dogs from shelters are amazing they're just as intelligent we're not saying they're any dumber just because they're in a shelter but we wanted to have that for our first dog at least guys to be able to pick yeah. obviously you guys know what breed in the shelter is the most common which is a pit bull so i can guarantee you 110 percent our next dog if you know suitable will probably be a pit bull from our shelter yes so because we love i mean julissa and i almost every other weekend we're at the humane society <laughs> looking at puppies like we love yeah. the shelter and whatnot so but it's closed anyway so we, it's not like we could have gone and adopted a puppy on the spot they're closed yeah 
But I just think, like, don't shame people on, like... Their choices. On their choices, yeah. It's like... Like, if you're sitting there, like, oh, you should adopt and said, like, look at yourself and be like, am I perfect? Like, am I going to go adopt a puppy? Or if my mom tells me you can get your dream dog, am I going to go get my dream dog? Like, you need to be more realistic, too, because, I don't know, I feel like... You should just respect people's choices. Like, yeah. you know, the stuff like that, no, and in nada, honestly. Like, if we would have gone, guys, and we would have seen his mom, like, in really bad conditions, like, she's just busting out babies. They don't have the proper registry to the license to do what they're doing and we'll whatnot. Call the cops on them. Yeah, we'd be like, no, this isn't right, you know. But no, guys, like, people do it the right way. It, like, there's a right way to do it, and there's nothing wrong with breeding horses. Just like people breed horses for horse races to get the fastest horse, people breed dogs you know get dogs that don't shed mm -hmm. and that look like little teddy bears that's kind of ozo's story guys yeah. you're gonna be seeing him in the videos every day now so that's that's amazing he's perfect and now i'm not alone and every like the kids here love him and he loves yeah, the he kids. Loves kids oh my goodness he loves kids and our families are completely obsessed with him and i don't know i think he's just the best little choice we've ever made no. the best baby before real babies yeah. And obviously, like, we saw your guys' comments about the harness being better than a collar leash. And, yeah, like, literally the next day, um, yeah. the, the day that video went up, we had already had a harness for him. We saw that really quick that he did not like a leash. So Yeah, so literally the, the day we got back, or yeah. the day after we got back, we went to Peko to get all his uh, bed and stuff, and we got him a harness because we knew. Yeah, the leash was just, like, at the Missouri place. The, the, the collar. Only thing. Yeah, the collar. So just so we could get him on a leash and in case he ran away, but he's perfect. Like he stays with us, follows us. I don't know, man. Like I think our puppy is broken because he's too good to be true. Yeah. <laughs> Guys, like he's just literally. I think you can see him. He's just <laughs> look. I can move his head, and he won't wake up. He does nap a lot. He sleeps a lot, and right now he's so slumped because we actually took him to the lake, and it's probably the most exercise he's gotten in a yeah. long time. So it was really fun. Yeah, he came with all his shots, everything. Yes. Uh, oh yeah, we did see a lot of you guys were concerned about that. Like, oh, don't put him on the grass. Don't let him see other dogs unless he has all his shots. He does has he has his entire shots for the age that he is right now. All right, I went to put him on in his bed because my feet were falling asleep. Okay, guys. Um, yeah, so like we said, we're gonna be ending every video with an advice little segment that you guys have sent us through email. Just in case you try to send more advice, and a lot of you guys have not seen obviously missed her story. Our email for advice is spill the beans jj at gmail.com if you guys want to go ahead and send in some advice or just anything really yeah we're open to puppy sponsors <laughs> anyways guys <laughs> let's get right into it i have this one right here you didn't screenshot it all right guys so this one's titled video games over girlfriend question mark question mark question mark question mark oh my god hi i love watching you and your husband's youtube videos Y'all are so cute, and you're beautiful. I'm Jelly. LOL. But anyway, I'm having some issues with my boyfriend with him playing video games like literally 24-7. He's also mentioned to me that he wants to lose weight, but I know sitting in front of the TV won't work, and he really doesn't want to go to the gym. I also feel like he prefers games over me. I get little attention now. We have been dating for a year and six months, and we have and we started dating... And when we started dating, he was like all about me, you know? He's like, change, but... Point is, I don't know how to get him to stop playing and do something else besides that. Any help? Thank you. Much love. Go ahead, babe. Take it away. Because <laughs> um, me, myself, when I buy a new video game. Yeah. Well, here's the thing. Um, we don't... We want it... We wish we knew how old you guys were because then we probably would have a little bit more insight because... I, well, I guess any guy is pretty much obsessed with every video game. But... Um, the whole, about the whole gym thing, and I think, okay, this is what I'm gonna Come tell on, you. Babe. Okay, sorry, let me get all my thoughts into. When you're in a, in a relationship, you need to remember that you have to remain an individual. Just like his hobby is playing video games, you have to have hobbies too. And I'm sure you do, and I'm sure that you still want to make time to hang out with him, but he still wants to just play video games the entire time. Soon enough, he's going to realize that video games are not his entire life. Soon enough, he's going to see that he's not paying attention to you. And soon enough, he's going to realize that he's letting himself go and you are still um, yourself. So I feel like instead of nagging him and telling him, like, oh, stop playing video games or stop doing this, guys 
hate being told what to do and will do the complete opposite of what you ask them to do. So in my opinion, and I'm sure this is how Jonathan thinks as well, just do you, girl. Like, if you're going to the gym, stay going to the gym. Find your own hobbies. No le ruegues. Don't be begging him and telling him to change, to stop playing games. Soon enough, he'll realize, like, oh, she's still going to the gym. She's not playing video games. She's doing this, 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 doing doing good. And then he's going to be like, okay, like, I need to get my shit together. If not, I'm going to lose her to some guy at the gym. You know what I mean? Right, babe? Yeah. Girl, this is what you got to do. You got to go to the gym, do some couple squats, put on your tightest leggings, walk right in front of him when he's playing his little whatever he's playing, Clash of Clans, and be like, I'm going to the gym, be right back. Tell him you're going to come back like an hour, take it an hour and a half, and then you come back and he's like, where were you? You said you were going to be here in an hour. You could have gone to your mom's, you could have gone to TCBY, just be like, none of your business. That took a little bit longer at the gym. Yeah, call it a day. Vas a ver que se va a levantar de ese pinche sillón de volada. He's going to get a membership. He's going to go get, turn off that PlayStation. He's going to see you change. And that's the only way, girls. I'm being honest. I'm sorry, guys. I'm spilling the beans here and I'm making <laughs> us look bad. But, girl, do you. Do those squats. Grow your body. And vas a ver que while your butt is growing y la lonja le está creciendo a él, Trust me, he's going to snap out of it. I've never been a hardcore video game guy. Like, I'll buy a video game, and then I'll get obsessed with it with, like, a couple days. But I'm not a gamer. Jalissa never let me be a gamer. Follow my dreams of being a gamer. That's um, nice. Or else I would have a Twitch right now and be famous. Yes. But Why are you lying? Anyways, yeah, girl, do you, honestly. Yeah. Keep going towards that body. Like I said, do that little trick I showed you. Y vas a ver que se levantar mi hijo de la cama y... He's going to get his shit together. Because hey, you're not his mom. Don't be his mom. Hey, you said you want to lose. No, fuck no. Don't be his mom. He's old enough. If he's old enough to turn on that PlayStation, then he's old enough to get his ass into the gym and worry about his health. All right? Health before wealth. But say he doesn't care. Doesn't give two flying Fs about what you're doing, how you look. Why would you want to stay with him like that? There's plenty of guys out there. I promise you there's a lot of guys out there. You're probably young. You have your entire life to find someone that has more goals in life than being a gamer. Which, I mean, being a gamer does get you paid nowadays. But you gotta be, you gotta balance yourself out. But anyways, if it doesn't work, then that's all you need. You're and we're not, not saying to leave someone no. because they're chubbier than you or don't want to work out. I'm just saying, like... There's a difference between, not, hey, babe, I don't feel comfortable going to the gym. You know, I feel like this. But there's a difference between, no, let me get this last kill. I can't go to the gym. No, there's a difference between being lazy and being, you know, maybe a little bit insecure. Maybe it takes him a little bit longer to ease into it. But if he's not going just because he's lazy, then. And not just that. It's not all about, like, going to the gym and doing all of that. It's if you don't feel like you're getting treated the way that you want to be treated, that is, that's all you need to do. Like, you just got to leave or distance yourself, you know. Don't talk to him as much or do something like to scare him basically. And if he doesn't get his shit together, then you realize there that you are not worth more than his game to him. So you go and work on yourself. And But trust me, it's going to work. <laughs> Just do that and email us again. See how that goes. And uh, We're yeah. speaking from existence. I mean, from experience. <laughs> But I've never been like that. No, but Jalissa doesn't like pass in front of me and like take longer. But she does like if say one day I don't want to feel I'm feel like going to the gym. She puts on her work clothes and she'll be like, okay, I'll be back. I'm gonna go by myself. Then I'm like, oh, okay, I wait, pues. Deja. I got on my lonjas y las meto en la troca, sí, pero uh, yeah. yeah. Anyways, um, she'll snap out of it, girl, soon enough. Yeah. So Just, that was our fight. Sorry. Go ahead, no, babe. Go no, ahead. I'm sorry. Sorry. I'm sorry. He's going to hit me after this guy. <laughs> Babe, say so you're joking. I'm not. Say so you're joking. You are. Say so you're joking. <laughs> Stop. Say so you're joking before they clip it. Okay. Let's show the authorities when we do. And I do kill you. <laughs> when I go MIA on YouTube? Yeah. I start wearing a wig. <laughs> Hi, guys. Welcome back to my channel. <laughs> With your body in the closet. <laughs> I am old. You would do that shit. Also you starts would. eating you. Imagine how sad that would be. Anyways, guys. <laughs> Sorry, that got real deep, but thank you so much. You have concluded another episode of Spill the Beans. Let us know what you guys want to hear. I know you guys want some conspiracies, but unfortunately, my co-host here, 
has a short a brain a short, of, a short term, time span. Short, yeah, short, short term. No, but this is what you do, Listen, babe. Let me show you what yeah, you do. Yeah, tell them. Let me show them, you what babe. you do. Tell them. I'll get really deep into something, guys. Like, <laughs> deep. Like, oh, my God. Like, did George W. Bush really do 9-11? <laughs> or, like, what did I ask you the other day? Like, traveling? Oh, um, oh like time a- traveling. No, no, no. Like, oh. aliens? No, but I'm going to give you an example. Like, I'll be like, babe, are there aliens out there? And, like, stuff like that. Like, uh, based on, you know... Uh, physical evidence and evidence from the 50s you know based on you know what we've seen maybe aliens do exist are we alone are we truly alone and then Jalissa will like look me dead in the eyes and she'll be like maybe they just want to eat her ass she'll guys she'll kill the moment with something so childish like this is another thing of her she does not have she does not appreciate like true comedy like i'll show her a funny video guys like a funny video but more like in you know those intellectual jokes like, like that what? like like take a little bit more like you know you have to have paid a little bit of attention in school to understand the joke because it's funny like what like um oh fuck these are fucked up what like something you know those jokes that like require a little bit of you know history behind no, them i don't like what um like like the what did the uh, fuck you know those like hydrogen jokes you lost my hydrogen i see that's what i mean <laughs> so julissa like say you set up a joke really nice or kevin hart for example we all know kevin hart and he's really funny julissa does not find kevin hart whatsoever funny but what julissa does crack up at is like farty noises <laughs> or fat people falling Don't no, lie on my name, dude. Do not lie no, on my name. Do listen. Don't, don't lie. lie. No, okay. You you laugh like a farting noises. No, I don't. Babe, the simplest I, noise. What I laugh at, and I'll be very honest. <laughs> Babe, I'll tell you a funny ass joke, and you'll be like, uh huh. But I, then I'll be like, when you're like running, I'll be like, <laughs> and you'll be like, ah, Lina, ves? <laughs> I'm like, what, like. I can't. That's how she is with it conspiracy just depends, guys. It depends on what my mood is at. Like I will laugh at the uh, inappropriate things, like people f- <laughs> 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 falling. Yeah, that video where the ice girl skating or whatever, and she falls. Yeah, that's fucked up. I will laugh at things that are inappropriate to laugh at, but yeah. I, I, jokes like. But like a joke, like true comedy, you don't laugh at. No, because that's the same thing with that's conspiracy like people, theories. Th- people premeditate those like i know you guys want to like guys get get into something deep but we'll get there i like listening to conspiracy theories and i follow a lot of people that do conspiracy theories i don't personally like talking about them that's why so if i'm like doing my research trying to research a conspiracy theory like it goes in through my eyes and it goes out through my butt like i do not remember it i don't find it interesting at all whatsoever but if i watch a video and i'm like oh babe did you see this you know but i'm not very much into like learning about it and then talking about it like i've heard the the dia conspiracy theories many many times and i don't remember what they are period well sorry anyways guys let us know what you guys want to see comment down below what city and if you love also yeah one like is equals one hug i would say like a like a a pet? Rozo. Yeah, a pet. Babe, why do you have that Fuji face on when I talk? Because I know you're going to say something so funny, babe. Anyways, guys, thank you do guys you so much. Do you podcast by yourself? Do you want me to? Do you want to? Where's Ozo? <laughs> okay, yeah, end What's it. his rate? Okay, guys, end it, babe. All right, guys, that is going to be it for today's podcast. It was really short, um, but, you know, we'll... 35 spring- minutes? Yeah, the last one was 54 oh, minutes yeah. and people loved it. That's true. But anyways, um, we're going to sprinkle in here and there's some short podcasts, some long podcasts. Because I, for my my personal experience, sometimes I'll be driving from like here to like Boulder and be like, I only need a 30 minute long podcast. And I think that's perfect. You can either go 54 minutes, 30 minutes, 20 minutes. It doesn't matter. But let us know if you like this podcast, if you like hearing us talk and what else you would like to hear us talk about. You can, um, for the email, you can send in like advice questions or um fuck i can't think of the word oh or recommendations of what you want us to talk about. suggestions of what you want you would like us to talk about on the podcast yeah 
All right, guys. Thank you so much. We appreciate and love you. And until next time.